hello everyone and welcome to a genshin impact video so this is one of the first videos where i'll be using my avatar for streaming or should i say for recording all right so what do i want to talk about well i want to talk about the resin system more specifically what i don't like about it but why i have not made a video regarding it so first things first the resin system right now is admittedly something that we really need to improve 120 resin no it's not enough it's not enough to farm bosses. It's not enough to properly get character materials, materials for EXP, materials for talents, artifacts, good artifacts, and much more. But I understand why things are like this. I understand why there needs to be this limiting factor for us players. You might be wondering, like, what's there, what's good in limiting players? Well, the fact is, this game does not have enough content for everyone yet. So, what do we have here? Let's go and uh, go to our map, all right? Okay, so after you've done your story quests, after you've done the world quests, there's nothing more to do. You can go for expeditions. You can go farming bosses. You can farm bosses, you can farm domains or artifacts, you can farm domains for talent books, that's it. You see guys, the resin system, this, this system is here to limit us in the way that we farm content because the simple fact is the game does not have enough content for us yet if we remove the resin system if we remove the limitation everyone is going to rush through the content Everyone will be at AR 35 to 40, God forbid, AR 50 or 60. And then you'll have max talent books. Your talent levels will be maxed. Your characters will have very good artifacts. And that's it. Because let's face it, guys. When you max everything out, what are you going to do? Wait for a new character banner? So you have Klee on a banner now. There's also Sucrose, Noel, and uh, I forgot what uh, who this character is. This water guy, this water uh, element guy. But you've already maxed them out. Then what are you going to do? What you're going to do, I assure you that this is what you're going to do. You are going to quit the game and not play anymore because there's no more content. You're already very strong. You're killing bosses left and right. There's nothing more for you to do. You'll return on the next update. After that, you go play the game for a week maybe two and then you leave again 
you'll just go leave again. And then return for the next update. It's a cycle. You leave, you return, and then eventually, you'll get tired. Because the updates can't catch up, catch up to you anymore. What will happen is you'll just quit the game entirely. You'll just be tired. You'll just say, hey Mihoyo, why can't you release updates more often? I'm getting tired of playing your game. I'm bored. My characters are max. I have max artifacts. I have max talents. I have almost every character in the game right now. And even if I get a new char character in the game, I'll just be grinding the same thing. You'll say everything is just repetitive. So that's why the resin, the resin system is there. That's why I didn't, jo didn't join into the bandwagon of people bashing Mihoyo because they're running out of resin. Because the fact is, the current game content, there's no decent game content yet. After the first few stories, you're done. Can the resin system be improved? Oh, yes. Yes, sorry. Yes. The answer to that is a resounding yes. How can it be improved? Give us more resin and reduce the cooldown. A uh, hundred... No, not really a hundred, no. Like, 300 resin? 300 resin... And then reduce cooldown? That would be... Great. I'd like that. And... Really... Mihoyo is working on it. Mihoyo is working on it. You know why? Because they're listening to the community. They are doing their best. Three, three weeks in, like, I expected them to change the resin system, like, on patch 1.2. I wasn't expecting them to change it on patch 1.1 But they are And there's a post on, a, on the official website stating that they are And I have proof of that post So why? Okay, I dropped that pair on the wrong place. So, why the upgrade? Well, that's because players are rushing. That's because players are chewing through the content a lot faster than Mihoyo ever anticipated. They're chewing to the content like there's no tomorrow. That's what's happening. That's why people are mad. Because they don't have any more content to play. And they're blaming Mihoyo for it. I'm no way defending Mihoyo, but come on guys, you're to blame for being bummed out in the game you're dissatisfied because there's no content for you anymore and that's because you've already played through all of the content and there's nothing more 
yes, it's hard to farm talent bucks. Yes, it's hard to get more artifacts. Yes, it's hard to level up characters. But that's this that's the truth. It's hard because there's no content. Mihoyo is limiting you because they don't want you to leave the game. They want you to play. Alright, so enough with me defending Mihoyo because that's how people are going to see it. No matter what I say, people are going to see, oh, Butterfly is defending Mihoyo, even though I say I'm not. Because my statements is in defense of Mihoyo. Because I understand. I understand. Why there needs to be a resin system. Could it be improved? Yes. Definitely. Most definitely. It needs to improve. But not now. Not immediately. Because eventually, people are going to tire of the game when there's nothing limiting them anymore. Alright, so. Mihoyo is already improving the game. How? Well, this. We're getting a lot of updates for 1.1. First, for Origin Resin. There we go. Finally, something for Resin. And everyone se still seems to be unhappy. We're getting 40 more Resin. From 120, we'll have 160. And what does 160 Resin do? Well, let me tell you, 160 resin will give us one boss, that's 40, and then two bosses, that's 80, this boss, 120, and then this boss, 160. Or if you don't have a cryo character, then go for... The, fli the pyro bus and that's 160 so instead of just being able to farm three bosses you're now able to farm four isn't that great next we have battle pass resin requirements reduced so remember that uh, weekly mission where you had to spend a, a thousand six hundred resin a week. Well, it's been reduced by four thousand. You only need to spend one thousand two hundred resin. So that's ten days, which. I admit it's not achievable if you log just log in once a week, consume a hundred resin and then a hundred resin and then a hundred twenty resin and then leave the game. But we now have a hundred sixty resin, so that's more than enough. Next. We can now rebind keys. Yes, guys, we can now rebind keys. Imagine j being able to switch characters and use the alt with the mouse button rather than having to press alt and then the number of the character. That's very nice. So that's a quality of life improvement right there. Next is now we can filter artifacts a lot more. So I imagine there will be more filtering. And in another 
post, they said that they would allow us to lock artifacts. For me, that's wonderful. Because I've fed a lot of good artifacts to another artifact unknowingly, or should I say, without any means to know it. And next is we get another quality of life improvement. We get teleport waypoints. Imagine, f imagine if you're on a farming run. You're farming mobs. You're far you're mining ore, and would really, really like to have a teleporter on that one ore mine that you really, really are struggling to get to every time. Now you can log in. You can teleport to that ore mine. You can mine the ore. And be on your merry way. And lastly, we have character icons for equipped artifacts. So we don't have to click the artifact and see who it's equipped to now. That's good. Very good. And then there's the developer Q&A where they emphasize the importance of shields. Because on the 1.1 update, I'll let you guys experience it. I won't say any spoilers, but on the 1.1 update, we'll be using more shields. Yes, my friends. We will be using more characters who use shields. Well... If you want to use them, that is. You can still not use those characters that use shields. But it's a good option to have. Alright, everyone. That's all I have to say about the recent updates, about resin. And I'll see you guys on my next stream. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike it, you know what to do. Please subscribe to my channel and or like my Facebook page if you would like you would like to have more videos like this one. And of course, for you to be notified, hit that notification bell and for Facebook, make sure that you are following me or should I say following my page. All right, everyone. This is Black Butterfly. Now, signing off.